Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. Once again, I'm in a Weatherspoons pub, one of my favourites at the moment. Uh, the Willow Walk, that's in Victoria, London, United Kingdom. I had to recite um, my latest poem, uh, which was again done in the early hours of this morning, as I'm quite nocturnal. It's called Another Stint in the Hurt Locker. It's a tough question, one that may well go unanswered. Is it the head injury that exacerbates the PTSD? Or is it the PTSD that exacerbates the head injury? It's a tough one, but then life's tough. And there are a myriad other interwoven questions that lie beneath the surface, impatiently awaiting their turn, their complaints to be resolved. I am the humble victim of tragic errors of misjudgment, grave, ill-thought-out errors that have left me feeling consumed and fragile. The older I get, the more overwhelmed I become by the enormity of it all. I have all but given up trying to explain my symptoms and the reasons for their being. How suffocated I am after all the agonizing years of silent suffering. Trapped inside the hurt locker by myself. I am weary of being made to feel guilty, the accused, by those who refuse to accept blame simply because they are too ignorant to want to bother to understand. Post-traumatic stress disorder. It starts in the brain and slowly travels downwards, munching its way into the very bedrock of your soul. It has an unrelenting hunger, will leave you friendless, isolated and alone, with only a thin strand of hope on which to cling. It will see the strongest and most tenacious tremble at the knees, and there will be no cessation to its hostility, no respite until it finally claims victory. Then, having eaten, eaten everything, it will depart, but only when there's nothing left to consume. I am tired now. I am but the glowing ashes in the embers that once fueled a raging fire. It has been a lonely battle, but I have no need for finger-pointing. Never have, and never will. For those responsible for my demise will one day have to face the consequences of their own conscience. Ultimately, their prosecutor will be themselves, and not me. Post-traumatic stress disorder and head injury, the unwelcome, uninvited parasites that feed upon me, and with no bloody cure. What is there to do but carry on and wait like the rest of you for my turn and my moment to die?